Hey everybody, welcome to the Hangar Deck. Uh, I just wanted to give you an update on the Vindicator. Um, so I have applied the basic color for the um, for the top and bottom. And in addition to that, I took that basic color and I um, added some gray to it to kind of fade it out a little bit. And if you look closely, hopefully you can see it, uh, you can see some color variation in the wing and in the fuselage. And I started with a lighter color and would just streak it across the wing. Then I took that same color and added a little bit of more dark blue to it and made a darker color and um, did the same thing, did some more streaking and some modeling. And just kind of fade that paint a little bit, make it look a little bit rough. So then I had painted the gray on the bottom and then I took that darker color that I made and did some shading with that darker color on the bottom. And uh, I have to say it looks a lot better with the naked eye than it does on the camera. Sorry about that. But, um, so that's pretty much it. I've applied a clear coat, top coat. So now um, I'll come in with some, um, some Tamiya panel line wash and do some panel line work on it. Uh, I'll also put on the decals and then do a little weathering on the decals after they're set. And then probably put another clear coat on it. Typically what I'll do is I'll I paint with flats mostly. Do a clear coat so that the um, decals go on. And the, it actually helps with spreading the panel line wash as well. Put on the decals and um, then I... Um, do another clear coat over the decals, and then finally at the end I do a flat coat. One thing I'd like to point out to you <clears throat> is um, where the gray transitions to the blue. I did not use any tape except for right there on the wings. And I just used a very low air pressure to um, put that gray on so that it, so you don't get a lot of overspray. You do want Technically, you do want just a teeny bit of overspray because that helps that fading effect. So the blue fades into the gray and vice versa. I think it looks more realistic. Um, I, I'm sure that when these planes were brand new, they were taped off and painted, but that didn't happen in the fleet. Um, not typically. Not, in, not during the war. Now, there was just no time for that. So there was a lot of fading of paint. What When I say fading of paint, I don't mean the paint faded. I mean they faded one color into another. And um, so that's kind of the update. Um, as you can see, I've got the cockpit all taped off best I could. Um, try to protect that. And we'll peel all that off. I did the canopies. This came with canopy masking, so they all got masked off, so that made it kind of help, helpful. It's kind of odd, this long canopy on the Vindicator, part of it was painted over, so part of this will be actually solid paint. And um, I, you know, I found that interesting that they did that. But, you know, I, who knows why that was? Well, I, maybe I do know. I don't have any documentation of this, but it may have been you know, the radio's kind of set in that area. That may have been to kind of shade the radios a little bit so you can see the dials, and it probably also um, gave them a little bit of uh, shade from the heat. One thing that we don't think about a lot, um, those of us that are not pilots and those of us that are not pilots of um, aircraft with a greenhouse and what I mean by greenhouse is it's got a uh, you know a canopy a glass canopy um, when you're flying in that aircraft that sun is beating right on you and um, that's why you know guys wore 
all this gear when they were flying. I mean, that's part of the reason, even in the Pacific, is because if you didn't, um, man, you would just get blistered. I mean, it, it. I actually had a friend of mine that his buddy picked up a, like a Stinson, something that had a, a glass canopy and never thought anything about it and flew that thing from California back to Kansas. And man, he really got burnt. So, uh, you know, it's one of those little tidbits that we don't ever think about. So I want to leave you with a story. And um, this is a story I read in, um, I've got somewhere around here in the house, I've got a collection of cartoons by a guy by the name of uh, Joe Stevens. I believe that his, was his name. I hope that that name was right. And he did cartoons for Air Force Magazine from World War II through Vietnam. And he was just a hysterical writer. And he did this one cartoon, and it was a several-panel cartoon. And so it starts out, our hero, First Lieutenant Roger Rudder, was flying somewhere over liberated France. And he sees below him a Falco Wolf 190. So he turns, he's flying a P-51, so he turns inverted, goes into a dive, dives down on this Falco Wolf 190, cuts loose with his six fifty caliber machine guns, and proceeds to basically cut the tail right off of that 190. Guy had no hope. He starts spiraling in the 190, blows his canopy, jumps out, pulls his ripcord, floats down to the ground. Lieutenant Roger Rudder looks down and he says, Oh! He landed by an Allied air base. I'm going to fly down there and land and find out who it is I shot down. So he comes in, does a beautiful pull-up, goes around the field, drops his flaps, drops his gear, comes in, lands, coast to a stop, throws his canopy back, jumps out. Oh, he's really excited. Runs over. Here's this German Luftwaffe pilot in this army truck, and he's just throwing a fit. All upset, reading everybody the riot act, even though he's a prisoner. Truck stops, he jumps out of the truck, guards jump out. He says, I demand to know who shot me down. I am Baron von Liechtenstein, and I want to know who shot me down. So our hero walks up, Lieutenant Roger Rudder. He said, I did, sir. He said, you did. You're just a child. I am Baron von Lichtoven, or Baron von Lichtenstein. I have 225 aerial victories. How many do you have, young man? To which First Lieutenant Roger Rudder looks at him with much pride and says, counting you, sir, one. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. That was your update for the uh, Vindicator build. We're getting close. I'm going to be traveling most of next week, so I won't get a lot done after tomorrow. Um, so um, we'll see you in a week or two or a week or so. Thanksgiving's coming up. I hope uh, I hope if you're traveling that you'll be safe. And it um, won't be next week. It'll be the week after. Uh, to all my friends in the U.S., you know, be safe. Enjoy some turkey. Don't drink to excess. Whatever you do, don't drink and drive. And when you leave the hangar deck, make sure you watch the prop arcs and watch out for jet blast. Like and share. And we'll talk to you later.